Science has sought to uncover the mystery of emotions for centuries. If the mind was a computer, emotions appeared to be illogical and irrational. But, the mind is not a computer, which computes its responses. It senses patterns. Emotions can be understood only when you view your mind as a pattern recognition network. It recognizes patterns of threats and opportunities in the environment. Special organs within your limbic system recognize the patterns of events in your life and respond with nerve signals. These signals are recognized by the whole system. Their signals trigger emotions, which instantly decide your attitudes and modify your behavior. Every region of your nervous system responds. Aroused emotions trigger restlessness, excitation, and agitation, preparing you for action. Anger and fear are such emotions. Anger is blind to consequences and lashes out. Fear ignores successes and withdraws from confrontation. Despair envelops you in gloom, switching off pleasant avenues of thought. It is possible to still such negative emotions and be ruled by your common sense. Freed from fear, anger and despair, you can become calm and savor the positive emotions like joy and laughter. The Buddhists believe this state of mind to be one of the highest levels of consciousness. If, suddenly, you need to walk on a plank a hundred feet above ground, your fear will kick in. That emotion will instantly suppress even your elementary abilities. Fear will stiffen you into immobility. Even slight movements will appear to be life-threatening. If in the blink of an eye, you will have lost your normal capacity to walk a few steps on a plank. Mysteriously, a single emotion will have modified your entire behavior. Every expression on your face reflects a specific family of emotions. Even blind and deaf children show similar facial expressions. Human behaviors and facial expressions are universally mirrored in the gentle caress of love, or the sharp scowl of anger. Initially, scientists discarded emotions as being irrelevant to the rational modern mind, a throwback from primitive times. It was Charles Darwin, who first suggested that emotions have a real-world existence visibly expressed in the behavior of humans and lower animals. He suggested that the existence of an emotion could be derived from an angry face, or even a bad feeling in the stomach. In those days, science viewed emotions as essentially bodily and visceral responses. W. B. Cannon disproved the idea that emotions were visceral responses. He showed that emotions did not follow artificial stimulation of visceral responses. Emotional behavior was still present when the viscera was surgically or accidentally isolated from the central nervous system. So, emotions existed, but they were not the churning in your gut, or the knot in your stomach. Excitation of certain parts of the temporal lobe produce intense fear in patients. When other neurons are stimulated, they feel dread. Excitation of other nuclei cause feelings of isolation loneliness or sometimes of disgust. Electrical stimulation of the septal areas produced a feeling of pleasure for rats. The animals would self-stimulate those regions, till they were exhausted, referring the effect of stimulation to normally pleasurable activities such as consuming food. Emotions originated as distinctive patterns of nerve impulses, which triggered motor and neurochemical events. Pattern recognition is as old as living history. The hydra was a primitive branch tubular animal. A net of neurons between its outside and its internal digestive cavity responded to any stimulus applied to any part of its body. That process enabled the animal to vary its length and use its tentacles to push food particles into its mouth. Strong contractions expelled indigestible material from the same orifice. The stimulus triggered by the recognition of touch, enabled those animals to approach, accept or reject food and escape. Over millions of years, nerve cells learned to recognize many more patterns, in addition to touch, 
to achieve more sophisticated survival goals. The early reptilian nose brains decided to avoid or consume food by analyzing smells. Science discovered that combinatorial memories of smells were stored by the nervous system. Fear was another early control system, triggered by the amygdala, an almond-sized organ in the limbic system. It stores memories of unpleasant experiences and triggers fear, when it detects the possibility of a repetition of such experiences. Experiments show that just an awareness of the possibility of a painful electric shock activates nerve impulses from the amygdala for rats. Fear is a powerful emotion. It has a huge variety of nuances, alarm, scare, worry, concern, misgiving, qualm, disquiet, uneasy, wary, nervous, edgy, jittery, apprehensive, anxious, repetition, fright, dread, anguish, panic, terror, horror, consternation, distress, unnerved, distraught, threatened, defensive. The fear impulses from the amygdala increase adrenaline, produce shallow breathing, reduce blood pressure, increase heartbeat and inject acids into the stomach. Nature has added more emotions to fear, including sadness, disgust, contempt, curiosity, surprise, love, pleasure, embarrassment, guilt, and shame. Your body has systems which recognize internal and external events as a range of feelings, including sharp pain, burning pain, cool or warm temperature, itching, muscle contraction, muscle burn because of lactic acid, joint movements, soft touch, mechanical stress, tickling, flushing, hunger and thirst. These bodily sensations trigger impulses to the insulin in the limbic system. This region also links these feelings to social emotions, love and hate, lust and disgust. Thus, you experience a variety of feelings along with your emotions. Our literature describes those emotion-feeling combinations as cold calculation, hot temper, or warm love. Competing emotions are continually generated beneath your awareness. Each emotion initiate within your subconscious mind a drive with the remembered strategy, an inherited or acquired way of coping with problems in life. Anger generates a drive, which navigates aggressively. Fear triggers a defensive strategy. Laughter achieves relaxation of the stresses of life. Jealousy makes the system attack competitors. Love makes it caring and protective. Each emotion focuses the system to take actions, which follow its strategy. These emotions compete with each other for the control of your mind. Your moods shift because an intuitive decision-making process within your limbic system swiftly and continually switches control from one group of emotions to another. The ruling emotion also controls the access of the whole system to its memories. At any point in time, a single family of emotions rules, actively inhibiting conflicting strategies. Love subdues the onset of anger. Anger inhibits the feelings of compassion. These emotions micromanage the fluidity of your muscle movements, your facial expressions and the choice and tone of your words. They exercise subtle and relentless controls over the intensity and nuance of your every gesture and spoken word. The famous experiments of Benjamin Lee Bet showed that your awareness follows a system decision. He studied subjects who voluntarily pressed a button, while noting the position of a dot on a computer screen, which shifted its position every 43 milliseconds. The exact moment of conscious awareness was the noted moment of depressing the button. Each time, Lee Bet had also timed the beginning of motor neuron activity in the brains of his subjects. Lee Bet discovered that awareness occurred 350 milliseconds after the beginning of motor activity. The system always acts and then informs you. When angry, you will act in anger, before you become aware that you are angry. Astronomically complex programs enable life. The DNA codes in your body contain codes, which instruct your living cells to construct your fingernail, or your eyelash. 
Scientists reported that if those codes were packed into 500-page books, those books will fill the 450-kilometer-long Grand Canyon 50 times over, over millions of years of evolution and a lifetime of experiences. Your nervous system has also acquired an immense cache of knowledge. Such memories are stored as combinatorial memories in your nerve cells. These massive stores of inherited wisdom activate the nerve cells, which manage your emotions. Emotional impulses trigger myriad finely controlled patterns of behavior. They access from memories the exact knowledge needed for survival. An animal lurking in the bush carries the memories of its encounters over a lifetime. If it feels uneasy, the system extracts memories of the sensory indications of danger. If it is fearful, it gathers memories of escape routes from the battle zone. Its anger extracts memories of muscular responses to battle. By controlling system access to a focused set of memories, emotions restrict your vision and control your response. When you are angry, you will feel convinced that you have every right to be angry. Fully justifying itself, the system blinds you to any other viewpoint. The mammalian organs in the limbic system generate partisan emotions. They carry you into troubling levels of consciousness with blinkered views. Which one of these levels represents the real you? A fundamentally rational intelligence. RB, your human heritage occupies your prefrontal regions. RB has a wise, common-sense viewpoint, untrammeled by emotions. The Buddhists have experienced this perspective. You will not see something as good or bad, whether it is a beautiful picture or a very ugly picture, a sweet sound or an ugly sound. When you act like this, your mind will stay calm. With the calm freedom of RB in charge, Searing emotions cannot hijack your system. Free of troubling competition, you can benefit from special purpose circuits, which generate pleasure from a flawless line, the fragrance of a flower, or from harmony in music. When you are calm, nature adds to your delight by not inhibiting the innate surges of neural impulses to your pleasure regions, which enable you to cherish a work of art, or enjoy a lilting song. When their negative emotions were stilled, the Buddhists added value to their lives by cultivating noble emotions. They practiced the experience of compassion for nature by imagining the feelings of a bird, or an animal. Great actors invoke a range of emotions on stage. You can verify how an expression can change your speech. If you glare at a person, your words will sound hostile. You can learn to cultivate positive emotions. Amazingly, if you look at an opponent with compassion, his faults will suddenly appear to be pathetic failings. In its incredible wisdom, nature has coded sophisticated emotional behaviors into your neural network. The precise behavioral outcomes of each emotion is recorded in our culture and literature. Love transforms your behavior as it seeks to cherish and protect. Love is patient and kind. Love suppresses the emotions of anger, irritability, jealousy and rudeness. Your needs are subdued to give way to an awareness of the needs of your loved one. Love forgets and forgives past wrongs. Love persists in spite of problems, keeping faith in the loved one. Love does not gloat over injustice and is happy in the victory of truth. Nature's pattern recognition processes have crafted an incredibly high standard of behavior within the codes of a single emotion, to impel the best in mankind. Thank you for watching.